We love this story. Last month, we introduced you to some of our area's best at Braille, who were competing for a national competition. You may not have even known I didn't. There was a competition in Braille. And one of them won top honors representing our community. KSHB 41 News reporter Dan Cohen shares that champion story all new this morning. On our last visit to Alpha Point in Kansas City, practice was underway for the 2021 Braille Challenge. Brooke Petro says she was nervous when testing began. I felt my hands sweating, which, you know, when you have to type with them is not exactly the best thing. But years of preparation began to pay off. Once I started testing, um, my, my experience just kind of took over and I, I went. I'm just did it. A rising high school freshman, Brooks had her sights set on a gold medal for a while. Her mom, Lynn, recalls that first conversation. We were driving home from the regional challenge after kindergarten, and she said, Mom, I'm going to make it to nationals next year. Pandemic protocols made for a remote competition this year and a live stream of the final results. I was watching the live stream of the ceremony at home with my sister. Our first place winner is... Brooke Petro. Congratulations, Brooke. And when they called my name, I think she screamed louder than I did. The Petros had a good reason to be excited. The Braille Challenge featured 52 finalists in five age groups. Brooke was one of five first place winners in the North American competition, but this achievement didn't happen overnight. If you give kids early intervention, uh, literacy skills, and the support that they need, um, you know, they will succeed. Um, it's no different than um, a print reader. Brooke wants all of her peers in her community to have the same chance. Having a disability, being visually impaired can be a little bit of a downer sometimes, but having this thing saying, yeah, I have this competition, it's for me and I excel at it, is very, it makes me very proud. And I think that all blind kids should have that experience. And opening those doors of opportunity goes well beyond a competition that has an age cutoff at high school graduation. There's no reason that they can't live independently or get a job. It's just they have to be given the chance. And so we as a society need to give them opportunities to um, live independently and, you know, make enough money to where they can, um, you know, get an apartment or live on their own. Succeeding independently with a strong foundation. We want her to experience life just like anyone else and hopefully achieve success like other people. And Brooke has already achieved a lot of success at the age of 14, and she and her fellow competitors hope to return to the campus of USC in Los Angeles, which is where the Braille Challenge is normally held. That wasn't the case during COVID protocols this year, but hopefully they can be typing in person next year, where this year's JV champion, Taylor and Lindsay, will hope to win another first place trophy next year. National champion it's here in Kansas It's really City. incredible. Awesome. Dan, I missed it. Did you mention, because you said this competition ends whenever high school senior status hits there. Are there like any kind of scholarships available through this competition? What's, what's some of the, what's in it for her, I guess, is what I'm asking there. No, that's a great question. A lot of